Hi guys, I popped into a client of mine. It was one of the first projects that I've done um, quite a while ago now, probably a bit more than a year. But it's a friend of mine and he is, his name is Michael, and he um, he's a record collector and he's been listening to electronic music probably since he was 16 and his collection goes back many, many years. So it was a, a fun project to do because we're friends, but um, I thought I'll step you through it uh, just to go through the design process of it. Given that I'm not a DJ, I have very little knowledge of, of music equipment. So I had to take Michael's uh, brief and then kind of translate that into something that works for him. So I'll just quickly, before we, we speak to Michael himself, um, just talk you through the setup. So this is a typical uh, British house in the sense that you've got the old fire stack that goes up in the middle. And then you have alcoves on both sides, which sometimes can be a little bit of a waste of space if you don't um, have custom furniture that fit into it. So what we've done here is we've got one shelf on that side. And on that side, rather than having exact same thing, uh, we just split it into... Maybe if I step here, you can see. So you've got records there and then a little bit at the top there just to break it up slightly and also because i've designed this before we did dj booth which we'll come to in a second um that has space for uh, amp and uh players on the top there but then not long after i've done those mike also commissioned this dj booth um and i'll go through a couple of things on here so first of all records are incredibly heavy um, all in all, it's about 2,100 records in the shelves and about 1,000 records in this, this booth, right? So they're very, very heavy. But what is different than a normal setup in a typical home is it's flicked the other way around. So instead of having it against the wall and seeing uh, Michael's back when he's playing, um, it's a bit more social when he's partying and DJing for friends in this house in that he's he's looking towards the crowd which is really nice and just to go through a couple of things here so you'll see here rather than having a butt joint where they just come together it's a proper uh joint that's let in there so it's structurally is very very strong and although he doesn't use it often here because he's on a on a carpet there are eight wheels that is more than strong enough to carry the weight of all those records um michael so in terms of like the setup i think the your brief also asked for like having people will normally have two tables don't they and a mixer you've you wanted three isn't it yeah well i think like the majority of people will be familiar with like the ikea kallax and so to fit three turntables plus a decent sized mixer like this is not really possible so like I wanted, I wanted the extra space and I didn't want it to feel cramped. Um, I also just wanted it to feel more like a real DJ booth. Like for me, like clubbing in the late nineties, two thousands was pre the move to digital. So for me, obviously as a, as a Technics fan, I wanted the space for this. Obviously if I wanted to swap one of these out for a CDJ, which I never would, it holds them comfortably. Um, also can hold the uh, turntables battle style as well. So it kind of suits everybody's preferences. So Michael, just a second. So I didn't know what battle style was. Can yeah, you just so, show people what it is? Yeah, so this, the, the, the turntable can go comfortably uh, this way. So if you're scratching, um, you can you can turn it this way. Like I wanted it to, so these are like the latest model of uh, uh, Technics. These are the GRs and I've got a Mark II here. Again, it's, it's so that this is about me enjoying this space with my friends. So I wanted it to suit like purists, people who are comfortable with the newer tech and for it to comfortably have a 12 inch uh, mixer. So that means that almost any mixer um, that certainly that I would own would always fit here. Um, so that was, that was like something that was really, to me was really uh, key. But then one of the things about having this sort of setup and something that is always a, a, a bind if you're a DJ is just cabling. So really, really problematic usually. Um, and also like this idea of bringing the, the desk out and having it more booth style just meant that we've got to have a solution for the cabling. So obviously, well, not, well you, 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 you've introduced these slots that are hidden away from, um, 
from you when you see it. So the Technics just sits on top of it, so you can't actually see where the power cables go. So I just want to show people this yep. quickly. So that hole that Michael, Michael, do you mind just lifting that again quickly? Yeah. So I didn't want to overcomplicate it because things like that can become very gimmicky quickly. So what I've done is just put a, a nice slot at the top, and that then goes through into this false cavity, which then has a pegboard at the back sliding doors and as you can see i mean you don't have to be a dj to be annoyed by wires it's it's kind of universal for all of us that have tech but um i wanted to get the wires right for michael so i've made a pin board at the back and then loads of cable storage at the back so that when you close it you can see that that is now completely hidden and tidy uh, which was part of the brief yeah complete game changer as well like for me and just with some some really like the industrial like cable strips that you just you would see in offices, like this has been in what the yeah, for well over a year, never had any issues with it. Much more tidier. Um, yeah, I can't stress that enough. That the ability to have neat cables, um, it's the first time I've ever yeah I've ever had that. So it's a real yeah really nice. Um, yeah, I think that's I think that's like the main the main thing. Also this this sort of ledge part where you can't see like the backs of the turntables from the room neatens it up also I think really makes it way more boothy like it is it is a DJ booth it's not it doesn't feel like a unit that I've got stuff on yeah. top of and I think that's like the you know one of the benefits of bringing it out from the wall as well um yeah like I mean I'm Perfect. just a bit to it nice one so right guys yeah I mean you will also so people that have collections would probably recognize that it's more or less the shape of the IKEA Kallax. Um, nothing wrong with IKEA, but if you've if you've used it, you know that if you're putting that type of weight on that piece of furniture, then you are really stretching it almost past the limit of its ability. So not hating on it, but like it isn't really strong enough to, to um, keep a record collection like that, and definitely not on wheels. I've seen those put on wheels. It doesn't work. Like it can't work. So anyway, Michael, thank you very much for the visit. Yeah, and um, I've had loads of fun in this room. And uh, yeah, hit me up if you want to discuss designing something similar for you guys. Cheers.